All right, guys, how's it going? So when I finished last night's seven o'clock stream on here, I concluded that stream by saying, look, I want you to keep an eye out for Paul Joyce, right? And I explained why. Uh, and I said that I think it will be Joyce, not Ornstein, and he will come out with uh, a name, right? I thought he would come out with more uh, than Ornstein did yesterday. Today, I recorded a video basically saying the same thing because I know some of you can't watch the live streams and I wanted to convey that message to you. And again, if you watch the video, I uploaded it this afternoon. Uh, I gave my explanation as to why uh, I think you should listen out uh, for Joyce. Uh, I thought it might come it might come out this evening kind of thing, you know, but it, it's come out this afternoon. Uh, and basically he has said, and I'm sure you know this now anyway, that Liverpool are considering Real Sociedad midfielder Martin Thubanende. Uh It's spelled Zubamende, but I think, you know, the uh, Spanish pronunciation would be Thubamende. Um Immediately after he um, went with that, then others chimed in as well, you know, the other journalists and all that. So it's, it's, it, they've all gone with it. Uh, David Ornstein as well, the athletic, but he wasn't the one that came with this, uh, came out with this. But we'll talk more, but we'll assess more about, uh, you know, who might have said what and when and whatever later, if necessary. So this is, uh, this is good, I think. Um, obviously, he's a Euro 2024 winner um, and uh, he's a very, very good player. I think he's 25 years of age. The release clause is 60 million euros, uh, which is probably 51, 52 million pounds. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Richard Hughes uh, does have a relationship with his representation from his prior work at Bournemouth. Um, they worked together last year. Uh, the agency is called iDub Global, um, so that is going to uh, be of use to us. Um, the fans over the last few days have been throwing this name around a lot as the one that they would really like. Um, I, you know, un until today, I don't really think I'd given much thought or consideration to him, um, and I felt like the fans were really, you know, wishing this one over the line. And, and let's hope that this could be the case because this is an outstanding player. Uh, what can I tell you? I'm not going to waffle on too much um, about it, but I do need to address it because my phone has obviously lit up. Uh, and with me making that video this afternoon, you know, about Joy surfacing, watch out for Joy surfacing. And then he does, a lot of people are messaging me saying, Doug, 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 DKB, Doug does this. So I just need to, to let you know that I am aware uh, of this. Um, he is obviously a defensive midfielder. He can play a bit more central further uh, up the uh, up, up the centre, he's right footed. Uh, he signed for Real Sociedad uh, in twenty twenty. Uh, his last contract extension was two years ago, and he has three years remaining on his deal. Um, can I tell you anything else about him? Um, how many caps has he got for Spain? It says ten here. Um, he's from San Sebastian in Spain. He's five foot eleven. Um, progress through Real Sociedad, Real Sociedad C, Real Sociedad B, and then Real Sociedad, the first team since 2019, 144 league appearances, seven goals. With his international career, he started out at the under-17s and then progressed through those ranks, under-19s, under-21, under-23. Under under um, he's, he's described as a versatile player. Uh, he draws comparisons to players such as Sergio Busquets, um, he showcases, showcases composure and control, guiding players and adjusting the game's tempo. His role involves initiating players from deep positions, displaying precise decision-making. Uh, his aptitude, aptitude uh, for receiving passes and creating space is reminiscent of Busquets, uh, reflecting a deep understanding of the game and the art of crafting opportunities. Additionally, his technical abilities, including dribbling and deep runs, align with top midfielders. Um, and uh, while his ball retention in tight spaces mirrors, mirrors qualities seen in players like Xabi Alonso and David Silva. He has some, you know, some honours, uh, Copa del Rey with Real, Soci Real Sociedad, uh, Spain under 23, uh, silver medal at the uh, Olympics in 2020, uh, the UEFA European Championship in 2024, uh, and the UEFA Nations League in 22-23. Uh, I'm not going to go through his statistics. 
Um, basically, it says in uh, on the 7th of June 2024, he was selecting the 26 man squad uh, for UEFA Euro 2024. And on the 15th of June, he made his first appearance in the Euros against Croatia. As a substitute, he went on to play the full match against Albania on the 24th of June and came off the bench in both the semi-final victory over France on the 9th of July and in the final against England on the 14th of July as Spain won the tournament. So, uh, I'm not really going to go through all his, uh, his career uh, details or whatever. Uh, this is an interesting one, guys. Uh, I like it when, when things like this happen. Um, I like it when it's a, what excites me uh, considerably is when the fans really want a particular player. And we've seen these different defensive midfield players linked and everyone's got like little opinions, oh, I like Ederson or Ugarte and all that. But the fan base I, I have seen in the last few days really uh, talking, uh, talking this boy up, you know, and uh, he's a very good player. And uh, if we do sign him, you, you would see that as a good, uh, a good deal, I think. But when we say good deal, I'm not thinking about the finances involved because I'm a fan. I don't really care about all that. That's for the suits uh, and, you know, the, them people to to decide what's a good deal or not. But if you're looking at it from a, a you know, um, a squad strengthening uh, position or, you know, team strengthening, then this is the kind of play that you want to see Liverpool recruit. I would still add a little bit of caution uh, because there is negotiations there that uh, have to be, uh, you know, considered, uh, you know, Yes, there's a contract release clause, but Liverpool are just going to go in and say, we'll pay it. Um, I don't think it necessarily, Liverpool necessarily end their interest in other number sixes at all. Um, because of that, I think that they, would want, they wouldn't want to make it sound like he was an only option either, because that would strengthen Real Sociedad's position. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this one pans out. Um... You might now see speculation regarding uh, Endo. You know, Liverpool think, right, if we get him out, we'll get some money in for that. So you might see that speculation return. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted that, he's, uh, that Paul Joyce has surfaced because um, it means, you know, I don't want to say I was right, but it just means that that's, that's what, what the message that I conveyed to you that I thought would happen. Um, and uh, usually it does. So... On that level, I'm glad because I, I've been telling you to, to watch him and, uh, and and that's what's happened. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this. I think the comments will be very, um, very positive about this one, to be honest with you. I don't know if I can see any of them now in real time. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> so, don't you add a daddy. Love you, man. That's from Scottish Bear. Uh, when it comes to information, this is the channel I check out first. But don't don't know it worth knowing. <laughs> um, I get you, bro. That's uh, Gareth Turner. Uh, Rich T seven one. Uh, you know this is Rich T, someone that I've met before. Um, he's a really you know he's been a very loyal supporter of mine, a VIP member for decades. Um, really nice guy. Always reaches out to me when he thinks there's something wrong. Um, and he's put, and here comes Joyce, as you predicted, don't Liverpool considering Real Sociedad midfielder Martin Fibonendi. Uh, the Joker, you called it Paul Joyce tweets, uh, real trunks. So the Joker, uh, Joyce tweeted three minutes ago. So everyone's um, on there, Phil. Oh my god, just as you called it, Joyce comes out with the name, the go to spoken. Well done, Dunks. Uh, and one more, ask you, love it when Dunk gets forensic like this. This is exactly the kind of balanced, well researched, thoughtful content that all red should be tuned into so i'm glad that you guys uh appreciate um you know what we do here but i can't do it without you guys you know what i mean so uh your your comments and everything in, in the the comment section make a big difference you know because sometimes i just chew things over and sometimes i'm way off of it like my way of thinking and you guys say something and i think yeah that sounds sounds good so we'll just see now can i go back and finish my cup of tea I couldn't believe it, man. Honest, I, I did that video on Joyce. You know, that guys, you know what I mean? All right, all that. Listen out for Paul Joyce, DKB and all that. You know what I'm saying? And um, I thought nothing more of it, really. I thought it'd be interesting to see if he surfaces tonight. That's what I thought when I left this room. And I made a cup of tea. And I'll be, I got four, I was going to say, I'll be honest with you. It's not a very exciting lunch, but I got four boiled, boiled eggs out of the fridge. 
chopped them up with a bit of salad cream, went outside, boom, my phone just went mental. And I was like, oh, for fuck. Nice, it's nice, do you know what I mean? But it's just like, oh, God, I'm going to have to go So, Right, anyway, listen, I'm going to go and finish my tea now. Uh, so I am due to go live at 2 o'clock UK time on here. All right, 2 o'clock UK time on here. Um, I think that we just, just, what I want you to do is just like chill a little bit. Don't assume this is going to happen, right? I, I want to see more of what Joyce has got to say because there will be an article to follow this and there isn't at the moment. Um, I want to see what he's got to say. I want to pick everything. I want to see what it sounds, you know, what it sounds like here because, well, it's just, there's just something I noticed at the time when he published that I don't want to really go into just yet. And I just want to like have a little nosy at it and uh, and just see because I, I I I get the impression that that Paul Joyce wasn't the only one that was told this, um, but he was first. I just get the impression he wasn't the only one that was told this, and I'll explain that later. But I just want to check my facts first. Um, so in other words, Liverpool do want this uh, to be out there today, and again. I would say if like if Liverpool want this to be out there today, why again? Like why are we hearing from Paul Joyce today? You know, it's not just Liverpool trying to appease him. Like oh yeah, we should have mentioned this to you. Or, uh, Liverpool want you to know today, and well, hmm, let me rephrase that. I don't know if they want you to know today, but they want someone to know today that they have got this option that they are exploring, and it could be related to yesterday's uh, on scene stuff. You know, like that there is someone that they're interested in. I don't know if, you, if you'll understand what I mean. When Liverpool are trying to sign a player, they do not want other clubs to know they are trying to sign a player because if anyone else is interested in him, uh, it, it could prompt them to go in and make things more difficult, right? So usually it's the holding club that leaks that to generate more interest. Like, hey, Liverpool want our player. Come and, come and get him. You know, come and get involved. So... Liverpool want you to know this, and that's the only little bit of caution I would have for you for, with this, because why do they want that out there? So to me, I think there's more to this. Do you know what I mean? I think there's more to this. Some people might say, well, it's to create interest in Endo. I, I don't think that Liverpool would gamble losing a play to somewhere else for the sake of selling Endo. So they want that. They want that to be out there. Um, But I just think we need to, we'll be doing another video about this at some point, I think. Uh, I I just get the impression that Liverpool, maybe are not trying to sign one other player and he's the priority, but they've dropped this. I think Liverpool have just got what you would expect, really, like, you know, two or three options. And they're just going to play them all off each other a little bit and get the one that they want and go, with the, go and get the one that they want. So Edison, for example, Atalanta... My opinion on that is that he's stacked. They know they could put that through if everything goes pear-shaped or something like that. Do you know what I mean? So I think that they feel confident with that. This one, you know, they're obviously looking at it, but is there a message to someone else out there? Like, you know, we're closing in on someone. There has to be, guys. There's no way that they would leak that information just to keep the fans happy or something like that. So we'll talk about it more. We'll talk about it on the 2 o'clock stream this afternoon uh, and the 7 o'clock uh, stream uh, this evening as well. All right, guys, as you can see, it's all uh, changing and going uh, crazy behind. Everyone's trying to claim that they all knew and everything, uh, as you would expect. But I do think it's a bit uh, premature from me. Uh, John O'Sullivan called Barry Red. I love his tweets, man. So we have moved on from the monitoring stage to the considering stage. When do we get into the bidding stage? Because we have only two and a half weeks left on the transfer window. Uh, and obviously everybody wants you to uh, to think that they were first uh, and they knew all along, etc, etc. But that's that's the game that, they, that these people played, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to go and finish my cup of tea. I'll see you uh, live on here shortly. Let me know what you think. I think you'll be excited about this one. But please do... Just take into consideration what I'm saying. Why did they tell us today? Why Why do they want it out there? You don't want it out there if there's a risk of losing that deal. 
Do you know what I mean? There's a risk of losing that deal. Uh, so it's out there for to put pressure on someone, not necessarily another club. Um, but just, just bear that in mind, all right? All right, guys, if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you appreciate the fact I left my cup of tea and came back to update you immediately, please thumbs up the video. Please drop me a comment. And if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, hit the super thanks button. I'll give you a shout out tomorrow morning. Please do try and come along for one of the streams today. All right, guys, take it easy. Hooray.